Ask me why I have this bell. No. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm tired of crapping my pants and sitting in it all day. <gasps> so you're gonna start using the bathroom? Well, hold on, Daddy. I got an even better idea. So every time I ring this bell, that's gonna let you guys know that I took a huge crap in my pants and I need one of you to change me. Jeffy, you're 18 years old. Hush. I'm talking. Every time I ring this bell, it's going to signal to you guys that a huge heaping pile of Jeffy dung has exited my turd tunnel into my shorts. So let me paint the picture for you, Daddy. I'm not wearing any underwear. I'm only wearing denim shorts and a diaper. So when I ring this bell, that means a big pile of Jeffy fecal has pushed through my denim shorts into my diaper, and one of you needs to change me. We're not going to change you, Jeffy. You're an adult. You know what that means? They're shit. Change me. I will now pat and smear. Mommy, is this what a pat smear is? Oh, fuck yeah. Jeffy, Jeffy, cut it out! Jeffy! No, we're not changing you. You're an adult. You're gonna sit in it all day until you learn to change yourself. Look, we're just gonna watch TV. Boss, boss, boss. Oh, hey there. Do you like Honey Nut Cheerios? Well, in one lucky box of Honey Nut Cheerios, you could possibly find a pair of Honey Nut Cheerios shoes. So go out there and buy all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Buzz, 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 buzz. Daddy! <laughs> you see those shoes? I need those shoes! I need you to take me to the store right now so we can buy all your boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios! Okay, Jeffy, listen. Whenever we go to the store, I'll buy you one box of Honey Nut Cheerios and see if you win. One box? Only one box? I need all the boxes right now to make sure I get those shoes! Jeffy, listen. We don't have the money to buy all those boxes of cereal. Well, what about the credit card? I'm not going to run up my credit card buying a bunch of boxes of cereals on the chance you might win some shoes. Ah! You're ruining my life! Marvin, why don't you take him to the store and get him a box? Because, baby, he doesn't want one box. He wants all the boxes. And also, this sounds like a scam just to get you people to buy more cereal. I bet you those shoes don't even exist. Oh, Daddy has left his wallet by the front door. Father has royally effed up. Wow, you must really like Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm looking for shoes. Okay, well, th this isn't the shoe aisle. Um, I, I, I hope you're planning on buying all these. I am. Oh, okay. Um. All right, I spent two thousand dollars on Cheerios. Those shoes have to be in here. No. Jeffy, have you seen my wallet? <laughs> Jeffy! Where are you at, Jeffy? <laughs> Jeffy? Jeffy? Booga, 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 booga! Jeffy, what are you doing? They're not here, Daddy! The shoes are not here! What shoes? The Honey Nut Cheerio shoes! What? Jeffy, where did you get all these Cheerios from? I took your credit card and I went to the store and I bought all the boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios that they had. You are so Was this? Two thousand dollars. And you're telling me the shoes aren't in here? No, I was I was upset too, Daddy. You'd think for that amount of money that the shoes would be in here, and they're not. I can't believe you did this, Jenny. I cannot believe you. I mean, this is the lowest thing you've ever done. Let's go talk to your mother. Your mother has to hear this. Come on. Yes, sir. Baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Oh, Jeffy, you tell her, because I can't even think of the words. Mommy, I am a shithead. <gasps> Jeffy, don't say that. Marvin! No, it's true. Jeffy, tell her. Just tell her. Oh, yeah, Mommy. I'm sure you'll agree. What I did was, is I took Daddy's credit card and spent $2,000 on Honey Nut Cheerios. Jeffy! But did you get the shoes? No, don't beat me to the funny part. No, I didn't. But what I did do was is I dumped all the Honey Nut Cheerios on the table and then I hid in the big pile of them. And then when Daddy walked by, I tried to scare him by going ooga booga. Aw, you were playing peekaboo? 
Yeah, except for when I went boo at daddy, he didn't peek us so good. Oh, listen, that's not the point of the thing. Listen, baby, he spent $2,000 on my credit card on cereal to get shoes that he didn't even get. And also, not to mention the big pile of Cheerios on the table downstairs. I'm talking the biggest mess you'll ever see. I'm sure there's not that many Cheerios, Marvin. Oh, there's so many. Just think of the biggest pile of Cheerios you could ever think and double it twice in your head. That's how big it is. Yeah, it's pretty big, mommy. I'm actually pretty proud of it. You want to see it? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> see, baby, look. Oh, my God. Get to eating, mommy. My cholesterol is about to be lower than my syndrome. <laughs> what? Stephanie, you're not even eating them. You're just throwing them all over the place. Well, it's not my fault my hand-mouth coordination is off. Listen, listen, listen. We are going back upstairs. Come on, no more eating cereal. Oh man, Jeffy, I just can't believe you. Danny, I don't think you understand the real problem here. I still don't have your shoes. Do you want me to go to another store and see if I can get some more Cheerios? No, Jeffy, you're not buying any more Cheerios. I canceled my credit card, so you can't buy any more, okay? Well, how am I supposed to get the shoes? Jeffy, the shoes do not exist. They don't exist? Well, what about the commercial? The commercial's lying. It's a scam, Jeffy. It's a, it's a scam from the cereal company to get people to go out and buy cereal to hopefully get shoes that don't exist. So just go to bed and think about all the stupid things you did today. Ah, uh, my life sucks. I guess I'll go to bed without the shoes. Here I go, off to bed, not happy because I don't have the shoes. <sighs> Look at me at school, sad because I hate my life. <laughs> yes, that's good. Seeing other people sad makes me happy. Oh. oh my god, PJ, your new shoes are so cool! Yeah, I know. They're so hot! Where did you get them? Well, I was just eating Honey Nut Cheerios and they were just right there in the cereal box. You're so lucky, PJ. Yeah, not everyone can have Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. Huh? He has the shoes? He has the shoes? You got the new Cheerio shoes? Where did you get them from? Back off. Give PJ some space. Yeah. Now, ladies, ladies, let the man admire the shoes. Go ahead, look. Where did you get the Cheerio shoes from? I found them in a cereal box. Well, no, Dick. I bought so many boxes of Cheerios and it didn't have the shoes in. How many boxes did you open to get the shoes? I got these on the first try. That's ridiculous. I want those shoes. What can I do to get the shoes? PJ's not going to give you his shoes. Yeah. Okay, ladies, stop trying to speak for PJ because it's starting to piss him off. And then the P in PJ is going to stand for Pissed Off Jamie's Crenshaw, and you do not want to see Pissed Off Jamie's Crenshaw. Okay, sorry, PJ. Sorry. Okay, so you want my shoes, right? Yes. What can I do to get the shoes? Well, you can't buy shoes like these, so you're going to have to trade me for them. Okay, what do you want? Well, you smell like shit. Well, that's because I crapped my pants the other day, and my daddy didn't change me for 18 hours. Okay, well, I like your helmet. Okay. PJ, don't trade your shoes for his helmet. Okay, you're done. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You're done, too. <laughs> just can't find good women. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, I want your helmet. Okay, you can have it. Yeah, it'll look great with my PJs, and it'll protect my head when I'm using my tech decks, because I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, deal. 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 Deal or no deal. Deal. Bam, Daddy peeped these hoes. Jeffy, you got the shoes. Sure did, Mommy, and I'm feeling like a pimp. Jeffy, how much did those shoes cost you? Actually, Daddy, it didn't cost me anything. All I did was trade my helmet. Peep the no helmet and the wicked do. Jeffy, you need your helmet. Helmet schmelmet. You know who needs a helmet? Mike Snicker Pippets. Who's Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know, but he might need a helmet. Did you give your helmet to Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know. Ask Mike Snicker Pippets. I don't know Mike Snicker Pippets. Well, he might need a helmet. What the hell? I don't have time for these games, Jeffy. I'm still $2,000 in credit card debt because you bought a bunch of cereal and opened it and poured it on the table downstairs. Well, Daddy, you can always return the cereal. I cannot return open cereal, Jeffy. Sure you can, Daddy. If you don't like it, you can return it. Marvin, they might give you in-store credit. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll call the store. Where'd you buy it at? Target. Okay, I'll, I'll call Target and see if they'll give me store credit or, or something. Jeffy, they're so cute. Look, the little Cheerios, and it has a little bee on Hold on, Mommy. Back off. Don't touch them. I don't want your germs on them. Okay, I just called Target, and they said they're going to send an employee here to see if they can return all those items we bought. Oh, that must be them. Hello? Hey, it's Brooklyn Guy from Target. Not Alex from Target. He was on Ellen. I don't know what the fuck that was about. It's not really fair to everybody else who works at Target that he gets to be on TV just because he's hot. I wonder what he's doing these days. Hopefully not still working at Target. Although, working at Target kind of worked out for him because he got to be on TV, so who knows. 
Anyway, you called me because you wanted to return something? I mean, we don't usually show up to your house like this, but to be honest, I was kind of curious. Well, my son bought a bunch of boxes of cereal and I wanted to- Oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he just cleaned out all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Then like a bunch of 80 year olds came in after, they were like, where are all the Honey Nut Cheerios? And I had to explain that a kid bought them and they were all pretty angry. Well, I would like to return the cereal. Oh yeah, that's no problem, as long as it's not open. It, is it open? Uh, maybe a few boxes. Well, you can return the ones that aren't open. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Okay, here they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are the ones that haven't been opened? Um, I think they've all been opened. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no. No, you can't return these. Well, why not? What do you mean, why not? I can't just put these back in the box and then feed them to people. Well, look, the ones on the top haven't touched the table. Look, the, these down here are bad, but these are all good. We can put these back in the box. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Well, can you at least give me store credit? Come on. Well, see, the problem with that is that I don't know how I'm going to explain to my boss why I'm giving you $2,000 in store credit just because you bought a bunch of Cheerios, dumped them on a table, and then didn't eat them. Listen, my son was just looking for those, like, Cheerio shoes. <gasps> Did he find them? No. Oh. That's a shame. Man, those things are going for $10,000. Did you say $10,000 for those shoes? Yeah, 10,000 smackaroonies. Well, w um, who, who would pay that for those? I mean, I would. I really want those. I mean, I know I don't have feet, but I still think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, uh, well, my son actually did find them. Okay, you literally just told me you didn't have them. Because I didn't know how you'd react if I told you he had them. What? It's not a Powerball ticket, they're shoes. I just happen to want them. Oh, okay, listen, listen, so my son has them, so you'll give me $10,000 if I show you the shoes. Show me the shoes to prove that you have them, because this, this whole thing is very weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Okay, here's the Cheerio shoe! Those are not the Cheerio shoes. Jimmy, what happened to your Cheerio shoes? I traded them back to Mike Snicker Pippets for my helmet because I missed it. I'm sorry, Mike who? Snicker Pippets. Jeffy, be serious. This nice man right here was going to give us $10,000 for those Cheerio shoes. Well, he can go buy them from Mike Snicker Pippets. Okay, I'm sorry. Who is Mike Snicker Pippets? He's a guy in my class and he wears pajamas and sunglasses inside. Okay, that sounds like a lie. Well, it's not. He's real and he's inside. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Mike Snicker Pippets. Mike Snicker Pippets who? Mike Snicker Pippets let me in. It's cold out here. Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh, no, no, no. What about the cereal? Y you you keep it. Oh, no, the $10,000! Jimmy! Why'd you do this to me, Jimmy? Well, Daddy, let me tell you something. 